hello everyone in this video we will briefly discuss the management uh, protocols for fibroid now the first question you should ask yourself after examining the patient and hearing the complaints of the patient and seeing the investigation and the size of the fibroid uh, the site of the fibroid what it can cause or what not then you should ask yourself a question whether the patient is really symptomatic or not and the, when we talk about the symptoms the infertility is also a uh, include okay so whether the patient is symptomatic or not so if the patient is not symptomatic and the fibroid is an accidental finding but if you still think that it can create a problem in future like the fibroid size is rapidly increasing or not if anything is not nobody is there nothing is there then nothing to do you should not step forward for any treatment in this myometry because removing myoma is not a easy thing it will further give the patient the myometrial scar and if the patient wants to conceive in further life it can create a problem in pregnancy so better to leave this fibroids now if the patient has mild symptoms which you can think that yes you can treat with medical management or if you think that the patient is not willing for surgery or if you think that the surgery can be harmful to the patient or if you know that the surgical fitness is difficult to achieve because of other diseases then you can go for medical management okay if the size is increasing rapidly but the symptoms are not there then also you can first try about a medical management okay then you see we will discuss what is medical management but if the medical management shows some improvement then yes then nothing to do further it's okay but the symptoms are not control by medical management then you have no option other than removing the fibroma okay and if the patient have significant symptoms which you think that it is very significant symptoms and patient needed to be treated exactly because again if you should also think that the medical management of fibroid is not very successful it's not very successful it's not 100% successful the de definitive management of fibroid is only surgical removal so if you think that yes the patient have significant symptoms and uh, with mild symptoms but the, it is not improved by medical management then you have to go for removal surgery the myoma removal surgery and when you arrive at this point of decision that yes you need to remove the myoma you have another question in your mind that if the patient wants to preserve the uterus when i talk about preserving the uterus that means sometimes patient wants to preserve the uterus patient wants their menstruation function can work with further life they want this function so if if they want to preserve the uterus then the only myoma removal will be there if the patient does not want to retain its uterus if the patient's age is more than 40 and already it is a multi para they don't want any further child in their life then yes you can go for hysterectomy instead of myomectomy because once you remove only myoma then there are chances of recurrence so hysterectomy is a very good treatment for that but again the patient's will is very very important here now if you want to again remove only myoma then you have variety of options the first is myomectomy in myomectomy what we do we enucleate the myoma from the uterus it can be done by laparoscopy leprotomy or hysteroscopy depending on the size and site of myoma there are very another 
treatment protocols like embolotherapy, which is another new treatment. Another new treatment is MR guided high intensity focused ultrasound, which throws ultrasound energy and uh, destruct the fibroid. This is also an option. But again, all this option, if the simpro symptoms improve completely or not, if the symptoms are improved completely, yes, then you have to do, nothing you have to do. But if it is not, then again, the hysterectomy is the last option. So this is how you decide management in myo. Now we have talked about the medical management. What exactly the medical management? First of all, you should know this thing: the medical management of fibros, uh, fibroids. It not very easy. It takes long time. Plus, we don't have very successful rates. So we should use this medical management judiciously. First of all, medical management includes two type of treatment. First of all is symptomatic treatment. For example, the patient has irregular menses and you want to treat the symptoms. Then the tranexamic acid and OC pills can help. But the root cause of treatment, that means you want to treat the myoma exactly, then you have variety of drugs that are GnRH agonist, letrozole, ulipristal, mifepristone. If you see this drug, you will find some common things. These, all these things, either they decrease estrogen, either they decrease progesterone, or either they decrease both estrogen and progesterone. GnRH agonists do what? They induce a menopause-like state. So estrogen will be down, progesterone will be down. Letrozole is an aromatase inhibitor. It will also decrease the estrogen effectiveness. Ulipristal and mifepristone are progesterone antagonists. They will antagonize the progesterone. All this drug can do what? They can decrease the size. They can shrink the size. They can decrease the blood supply of the uh, myoma. But what they can do is they cannot completely remove myoma. These drugs can also help before surgical treatment is they can decrease the size and they can decrease the blood supply of the myoma so that you have less problem of bleeding while doing myomectomy. Okay, now GnRH agonist or antagonist, it induces menopause like state, it decreases estrogen, progesterone both. But the thing is you need to give it for long term, around six months. And when you give uh, GnRH agonist, or when you induce the menopause for more than six months, then it have its own side effects. It can shrink the myoma definitely, but the side effects are also cannot be ignored. Hot flushes, increase of fracture rates, everything that happens in menopause happens in this treatment. So you need to be very cautious in use of GnRH agonists. And also the thing is that GnRH agonists are costly treatment. It is not very affordable for everyone. Unipristal acetate, mifepristone, they will antagonize the progesterone and shrink the size. Again, OC pills, they regularize the blood loss, uh, menses and decrease the blood loss. Okay, now once you decide the myomectomy is there, then you need to decide the, which kind of method we should use. Either we should use the laparoscopy, hysteroscopy or laparotomy. When the myoma is intramural or subserosal or there are multiple small myomas, then you prefer laparoscopy as a method. But again, the size should be less than 10 cm. Leprotomy is done when there is more, more than 10 cm of size of fibroid and uh, there you expect very adhesions in the abdominal cavity, then you can go for leprotomy. But most of the myomectomy these days are done by laparoscopically. If the myoma is submucous, type 0 and type 1, then you can go with the hysteroscopical removal of the myoma. Now what are the challenges with the myomectomy? The hemorrhage is the biggest challenge of the myomectomy because the uterus is a very very uh, uh, organ which has a abundant amount of blood supply. And when you do any surgery in the uterus, you should have this point in your mind that yes, it can be result in a very massive hemorrhage. So, when we do this myomectomy, we do it at post-menstruation phase. In this period, one to five days, there is a minimal amount of blood supply to the uterus. So, it can decrease the bleeding while doing surgery. 
all we can do a pretreatment with GnRH, which will also shrink the size and decrease the blood supply. It also can decrease the bleeding. The problem is a scar also. If the patient wants to have a pregnancy in future, then this scar can be a problem. Scar rupture can happen, and and the patients which who have a previous myomectomy scar are definitely gone for cesarean section rather than normal vaginal delivery. Okay, so this is again a risk factor. It's not easy. Now, let's talk about new treatment. That is embolotherapy. In embolotherapy, it is just like uterine artery embolization. What we do, we inject this polyvinyl alcohol and gel form of structures uh, to into the vessels which supplies the fibroid. So it can decrease the size and improve the symptom. But again, it cannot completely remove the fibroid. And the problem with this kind of surgery is the subfertility because the uterus definitely getting less supply as it should get. So it can hamper the pregnancy also. Very another very very good treatment is MR uh, HIFU that is targeted ultrasonic energy through abdominal wall, in which the no it is non-invasive also and rapid recovery is there. But again, it is not a very successful treatment also. So these are the management plans of the. Uh, myoma and uh, further we will discuss a myomectomy in the next video thank you